my seminar topic is knowledge economy these are my synopsis introductions knowledge economy is a system of conceptions and productions that is based on intellectual capitals in particular it refers to the ability to capitalize on scientific discoveries and applied research knowledge economy the term knowledge economy has been coined to reflect this increase the importance of knowledge a knowledge economy is one where organizations and people acquire create disseminate and use a knowledge more effectively for greater economic and social development so characteristics of knowledge economics first capital knowledge economics priorities human capital because of how humans are the observers and dispensers of knowledge in any economy next skill as this type of economy ties closely to service economics cognitive skills are essential for advancement growth growth is a primarily found in knowledge intensive service sector like accounting tuitions and communications so the emphasis of the education speaks to prominent educational systems that knowledge economics maintains next technology this technology sustainable relations to information knowledge economics plays a great emphasis on the investment in technological productivity <laughs> these are the knowledge economic four pillars so these are the four pillars of knowledge economic economic insensitive educational and skilled workers effective innovational systems and models and adequate information infrastructures so first the four pillars of knowledge economic education and training an educated and skilled population is needed to create share and use their knowledge so information infrastructure a dynamic information infrastructure ranging from radio to the internet is required to the facilitate the effective communication dissemination and processing of information so next the economic insensitive and institutional regime so the regulatory and economic environment that enables a free flow of knowledge support investments in informations and communication technology ict and encourages the entrepreneurship is central to the knowledge economy innovation systems a network of a research center universities think tanks private enterprise and community groups is necessary to tap into growing a stock of global knowledge assimilate and adapt it to your local needs and create a new knowledge benefits of knowledge economy finding a new productions method providing a new job opportunities opening up a wide area of creativity and innovation focus more on human capital developments advantages of knowledge economy first a technology with the beneficial factor of knowledge technology tends to improve at the expressional rates innovations the communications of your tech and knowledge lay the foundation for extensive innovations to grow disadvantages of knowledge economy disadvantages that put back the knowledge based economic survey wages in quality job insecurity and potentially lower employment so conclusions knowledge economics a large portions of economic growth and employment is a result of knowledge intensive activities a knowledge intensive activities involves a collections analysis and synthesis of information success in a knowledge economics requires a commitment of both workers and firms to continuously learn and to increase their skills and expertise which will foster innovations so these are my reference and thank you